Hey there, Dennis Cortez here. I'm a designer who codes, teaches, and makes music. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over how and why to set your nudge amount in Figma. And if you're familiar with nudge, you might be asking yourself, why would I be making a whole video about this? And I think it has a lot of impact on your workflow if you set these up correctly and set it to a point where it's aligning with the grid that you're using and your specific workflows. So let's go ahead and get into it. Just a heads up that I do have a Patreon where I post behind the scenes stuff of videos like this one. You actually get early videos as well and I post a bunch of design resources and behind the scenes of things that I'm working on. I also make music in my free time so if you're looking to have music that's great to have on in the background while you're working. I'm working on a new album so feel free to check those out with the links in the description below. So first of all if you're not familiar with nudge amount, nudge amount is actually how much spacing it's going to change once you actually move with your arrow keys. So if I select this item here and I move it with just my arrow key and not pressing the shift button at the same time. It goes by one by default. And then if I hold shift, it goes by 10 by default. So this helps when you're working on things and you need to work on some of the minor details and get spacing correctly. So how do you actually set nudge amount? So if you go here to your main menu, you'll go under preferences and nudge amount. And by default, you'll have it set to one for the small nudge and 10 for the big nudge. Small nudge is the spacing that will happen if you're just pressing your arrow key. And then big nudge is what will happen if you're holding shift at the same time that you use an arrow key. So how does nudge amount actually help in your workflow? First of all, it's actually gonna help you work a lot faster. So it speeds up moving objects and aligning them properly. And nudging along with keyboard shortcuts will actually make your workflow so much quicker. So if you get really good with keyboard shortcuts and these nudge amounts, it's really gonna speed up your workflow, so I highly recommend it. Secondly, nudge amounts will really help you stick to a specific grid that you're working on. So for me, since I use an eight point grid, this would be beneficial because I can adjust it to fit that. If you haven't seen my video on eight point grids, I definitely recommend you check it out before proceeding. It'll help you really get a grip on what the eight point grid is and how it's helpful. So I'll leave that in the description and also in the info card for you to check out. So for my example, I'll be using eight. So I'm gonna adjust this big nudge to eight and then you can just clear with the X and it's already set. So now instead of going by 10 every time I move this, you'll see I'm actually going by eight. And how this actually helps is for example here, if I wanted to align this to 16, I could actually go by eights and then actually get quickly to 16. And then I can adjust by eights as I'm moving those up and down. But if you had this at 10, for example, and you left it there and you wanted to use an eight point grid, then that means every single time I do the big nudge, I actually have to adjust by two. And you can imagine over and over if I'm having to do this throughout the day, it really adds up the amount of time that I'm spending doing that. Rather than if I actually set this to eight, then it speeds up my workflow so much more because I'm not having to do that for every single time. So I hope this quick video was helpful for you in order to get a grasp around what nudge amount is and how it can be helpful to your workflow. Like I said, I highly recommend you check out a video on grids like mine with the eight point grid and stick to that and set your nudge amount based on that because it will really help you speed up that workflow. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.